Hey guys and welcome back. The time is currently 9 in the morning over here in Newcastle. Six hours before kickoff against what is quite a good Luton Town team actually. We're taking on a team that's just battered Brighton 4-0. And despite everyone including myself to be honest at the start of the season, Back in these, the 20th, we're talking like a 2008 derby team, like a, a horrible team in the Premier League. All of a sudden now, they are out of the bottom three. And they're coming to St James's Park today with confidence. They beat us fair and square down at their stadium now. They come back to our ground where I think it's going to be much harder for them today, I will be honest. I think Newcastle, ever since the derby, has definitely picked up form. We've picked up some good run of games now. We've got an unbelievable win against Aston Villa. We were, we were by far the better team. So, even though we've got a bit of a striker problem today against Luton, I still expect us, even if Gordon's up top, I still think we'll win this game. But what am I doing here six hours early then? Well, something I've been up to in my free time actually is doing 10k, 5k runs. You can see just behind me before the half marathon is kicked off. I'm actually doing the 10k today, so that's 6.3 miles for those who don't run on a regular basis. So I'm going to be doing that just before the game. I'm actually wearing my Fabian Shaw tops so every single time I do a run. I'm just an outfield and you cast layer player. So, so far, I've done trip yeah, I've done it bottom into the days, number five, being Fabian Shaw. So, some going on in the background. I'm doing a quite Quite a lot actually in preparation for the Great North run. So by the time I've done that one, hopefully we would have done about 30 races or so. So it's quite a lot and doing it every single weekend and enjoy it. And it's definitely something that I would recommend you guys do to get a chance. But finally, just for me, I do have a bit of an announcement actually before we actually get into the video. Uh, so one thing that I wanted to do in regards to my content is make them all. I think the word for it is just more engaged in the audience so it's a good opportunity for you guys to actually directly do something that's going to pop up in the video so i've actually opened up a po box so if you guys ever want to send a letter you've got children for example like watching my videos they want to send something across i'm going to read them out on camera i'm actually going to open all the stuff up on camera so the address for my po box is on the screen now so it's po box 798 ne 5fl if you want to send anything across a letter some items whatever it may be you want me to open up on camera for you guys uh the reason why i got a PO box is because of business inquiries if people want to send stuff over but i can do business stuff for them so uh it is open now uh feel free to send anything across i will be doing upcoming content with uh what have i received so uh, i'm intrigued to see what that's going to be but back on topic now i'm going to show you a couple of bits of the run talk about afterwards and we'll get into the match today against luton town how are the mags <laughs> Get out of the way, we tell everyone of you. And lots of them this morning. Have a fantastic race. What a turnout! <laughs> Just finished a 10k winter run out run over here in Exhibition Park. Done that about 57 minutes, which is, I mean, probably average, I would say, for someone my age. But now it was good. Definitely recommend the experience. I know you guys ever get a chance to do a run. I think, especially if you plan towards something like the Great North Run, you need to get runs done in front of large groups just to see how you do actually when you're trying to get past people and just keep your constant speed throughout. Got to get home now, get changed, and get ready for the match to hopefully like, pick up three extremely important points today. Look at these little horrible something and finds putting stickers on our stage. Well, no, not the stickers. But yeah, we're just arrived at St. James's Park now. Looking forward to this game, as I mentioned, the intro. I think Newcastle probably have got that game where we can't experiment if we need to with the injuries. But in all honesty, like to Harvey Barnes, are actually supposed to be on the bench today. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Like, it's been so long, I forget he even plays for us half the time. What I can say is, I'm jealous. I would love to walk into that changing room, look, speak to the monk, to the players today, and just look, you lucky kids. You're going out, perfect day, St. James's Park. Honestly, 50,000 Jordan cheering you on. It doesn't get any better. 
So for me today, give your bet so 3-4-0. Excellent. That's what we want to hear. Is the cheer as bar, yes? I'm telling you though, I mean obviously we didn't get the result we wanted down at Luton. But as we were just chatting before, that's a different kind of fish, isn't it? Yeah, I mean I I've I'm not going down. You know, I'm an old kid, but you know the kid that their their ground hasn't changed since I played. It's an absolute shit hole. I mean, it really is. And and the thing of it is, when you play at a ground like that, you I say good luck to Luton. I would use every 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 little bit of positive that you could get. So if the pitch is on top of you, they're not going to make it lovely and nice and, you know, nice and, they're not making it like a green ball where you can pass the ball easier. They're going to make it uncomfortable. So when you get your opportunities, they will win games at Kettle Throw. But as I said, it's up to you now, it's in your backyard. The pitch is about an extra yard long though, which is massive in football in terms. And that's where you'll be able to pass. You will, we will be able to pass Luton to death today. What a pass from Trippier. First goal of the game to Newcastle. The scorer, number 36, Sean Longstaff. for this game. I can't believe this. Down there he loses the ball and it comes to the face side he's waving back. It's disgusting. How we could see them four to them have scored four or two games in a row. That's going to be the fourth in the score number 11 and Elijah and Elijah and Mario. What is Dan Byrne doing? Oh, I've got one back. Come on now. Full time this afternoon at St James's Park at Newcastle United 4, 
Luton Town 4 in what is probably going to be the best Premier League match all season long. What a classic that was today. In our point of view, it's going to be... I've got such weird feelings about this game because, well, I think anyone, when you're going 4 2 down, you're thinking, well, actually, if you get a point out of the game, it's not actually that bad. But in reality, you've just conceded four goals to a team that was in the bottom three when we played them. I know they scored four against Brighton, so it's back to back four goals in the game for Luton Town. We played them at home, yeah. Hello, mate. Hello, you good, eh? Hello. But we have definitely dropped two points there. I'm not going to pretend it was an amazing performance because it wasn't. But I still thought the castle at points in that game had good moments. In reality, Dan Burns cost us two goals in that second half. Two to a hard time. The castle not doing too bad in the second half. Burn one earth is he doing his gives away two shockers. The second one concede that fourth goal. Anyhow, I'll give Eddie House some credit here because he actually sub Burn off straight away. Get off. He's not messing around at all. He didn't take any chances once he made that second mistake. He was straight off the pitch. I do have to credit the manager for that. But I'm also going to criticise him somewhat because I agree with you guys. I've been saying this for weeks now. Why is Tina Livermental not starting over Dan Burn? Why is he not starting? We've said this for weeks on end, and today it's cost us because as much as I love Burn, I think he's done a great job in the couple of years he's been here. He's gave away two two stinkers today. He's gave away a stupid pen where it was a blatant penalty as well. And then the fourth goal was a joke. He loses the ball in the central area, just past the halfway line. Okay, so he loses the ball, Luton go on a counter attack, then go down his side. He's not even there because he's still a pitcher. It was just, uh, it was just awful for him. The castle reacted well. Though. I was quite pleased in the game, despite what's happened. To, the castle scored some great goals there. I thought, I thought all the goals were good actually. And the castle were four-two down, didn't give up. They properly went for it, and I thought we were somewhat unlucky not to get a winner. I thought before the. Before the added time, the castle were looking towards that, whatever, the like, 10 minutes added time, we didn't really do anything. A point, I think if we win at Forest next week, a point's not actually too bad. It's not great, but I don't think it's that bad if we beat Forest away and we beat Bournemouth at home. But in the games that, if you can actually want to get top six this season, these are the sort of games we'll have to win and we've dropped two points today. We could have easily dropped three, but we've managed to hold on to a point done well at parts in the game but ultimately we've got to be brutally honest because see four goals to a team that is 17th in the league table now full credit at Luton Town it's back to back four goals for them they've brought a swat away and they gave it a real go and they, that team pushed us all game long they pushed us they pushed us and they got four goals out of us that, that's a hard ask and I think for any football team if you're scoring four goals and not winning the game there's something wrong so uh, I will give Luton a bit of credit because they've done quite well today Hello, um, mate. How are you doing, mate? but the reality is in the castle point of view it was poor for us um, it, it wasn't at our best we've done well at spells but Luton I thought point was fair. I think the point probably was the fair result, which for most just isn't good enough. And we gave away some stupid goals today, and unfortunately we dropped two points because of it. But I'm not going to criticise the players that much because we didn't do much wrong over than a, a few horrific defensive hours. It looked great going forward, and Castle still weren't that bad. It was just oh, it's such a weird game to talk about because we just conceded four goals, but. I, I've still got a lot of positives to take out of that game, but yeah, let me know your thoughts anyway, guys. I'm not going to keep you waiting too long. Uh, take care, appreciate you watching. Follow us next week, let's get back on it. Uh, plenty of positives to take today, but also plenty of negatives. So we've got to work on the parts, and I say it now Tina Livermento has to start next week. Sorry, Burn, but that was awful today.